there. I'm Erin Cole Cup. I'm filled with good, and so are you. And I'm here to do a second demo of the Pour tool, which is the tool I use to keep myself out of overeating behaviors and compulsive food behaviors. It's the tool that I teach in Filled with Good Theology of the Body for Food Addicts. I'm doing this second demo for two reasons. One, my last demo was a little hard to hear. So hopefully this audio will be better. And two, today is the holiday of American Thanksgiving, which comes with a lot of expectations. Um, expectations for keeping everybody happy, expectations for overeating. And I am working on making sure, doing my part, cooperating with God, to make today the fourth Thanksgiving where I do not overeat and instead I experience peace. <clears throat> so I'm going to do a little demonstration of how the POUR tool works. It's the letters P-O-U-R. So P stands for presence. Where are my feet? Where is my seat? My feet are on the floor of my bedroom. I am safe. No one is threatening me. Um, everything is calm and peaceful right now in my bedroom. Where is my seat? It is also in my bedroom. I am standing up, so it's midair. And I am in a place where I can tune into God's affection for me, his love for me, his presence with me. All right, the next letter is O, and that stands for observe. What is going on within and without me that could be giving me the idea that the solution to my discomfort is to overeat? So today's Thanksgiving. Um, there are all those expectations. So... And also, I've made a decision to not spend this holiday with somebody who is typically unkind to me. And it's someone I've spent many, many Thanksgivings with over the years. So that shame, that grief, is a lot more difficult to experience than changing that emotion, exchanging that emotion for food that I don't need right now. Understand. This is where I tell myself, of course, of course, I would want to think that food would be more comfortable than the uncomfortable feelings that I'm having, the fear of reprisal from the person I did not invite to Thanksgiving, um, the fear of what's going to happen. Of course, I would want to medicate that with food. That's what I did for decades. But now I'm going to R, reach for relationship instead of reaching for material things like food. So after I finish here, I'm going to spend some time with my doggies, with the family that is here. I'm going to reach out to some folks in my rat park, and you will learn about rat park in Filled With Good. Um, send out some texts, see if I can get a phone call in today, because a real-time conversation with my rat park is super duper healing. And that's where I engage in the type of self-care that God made me to experience, which is Trinitarian self-care, where... I am in relationship, fully present, just like God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are always in relationship with each other. I was made to be an image of that. And so when I reach for relationship, I become an image of that. Okay, so that was today's poor tool. Uh, I hope it's helpful to you. I hope today is either another or the very first Thanksgiving where you don't use food behaviors to manage your emotions that you reach for relationship instead. Uh, if you haven't already signed up for Filled with Good, go ahead and check back to the email where this is, and it should also be in the, the link to signing up for fill, the next Filled with Good cohort should be in the description of this video. So if you have any questions, reach out to me. I'll be happy to work with you. All right, God bless. Bye-bye.